Hello travelers and welcome to this guide. In this video I will show you the best and easiest way to beat the miniboss obsidian frogs. We will need any sorts of bombs. We need a paraglider obviously, bright bloom seeds and arrows are optional. As for the weapons I like to break rocks with hammers so I'm gonna go for sturdy weapons with high durability like this one. We also need buff food to do a little bit more damage as I'm still in the beginning of the game. You can use Zonai devices, I think they have rockets and time bombs, but I'm not gonna use them. Alright, so the location of the frog is in the Akala region, at least one of them. I'm gonna go for the East Akala Plains. You can teleport wherever you want. I'm gonna go for the shrine. And here we are. By the way guys, make sure to subscribe if this video helps you out. And I also stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday night. So maybe give me a follow over there. Thanks. Alright, now let's talk business. I'm gonna make a second strong weapon just in case that if the other one breaks. We jump down the rabbit hole. And if you have not yet, make sure to shoot an arrow with a bright bloom down so you have some vision. Okay, as you can see, if you pull the paraglider, he will try to swallow you and wait for you to fall in his mouth. Drop a bomb in his mouth, he will eat it and it will explode, which will stagger him. I'm gonna start on the back, as for me it is the hardest spot to break the stones. And I always panic and die there, so let's go for that. As you can see, you get catapulted up in the air whenever he's done uh, choking on the bomb. I throw another bomb down his throat, he explodes again, we try to land on his back and we just keep going with breaking the stones. This is, in my opinion, the easiest way to kill him without using overpowered Sonai devices. You have to pay attention because his animation can make you fall off. As you can see, I didn't go as high as I wanted in this jump, so I'm gonna drop a bomb and I'm gonna land close to his hands, or foot, or feet, whatever, you know what I mean, the big biceps. Alright, let's go up on his back and finish him, but my weapon broke as I predicted, which is always good to have a backup weapon. There we go, we finish him off with double hits and he is gone. This is, in my opinion, the easiest way to beat the obsidian frogs. It took me a lot of tries the first time I met him, so don't get bothered by dying a few times. It is part of the game. And there we go. That's how you beat the obsidian frogs with around 4 to 5 bombs. I hope this helped you out, guys, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye!